Hi and welcome to the Geek Legion of Doom. This is a fantasy movie review and I'll be having a look at the movie Blood of Beasts. So this sounds like a, uh, you know, gory sort of action-packed Lord of the Rings-esque sort of fantasy film, doesn't it? Well, if you're a guy, then this this is probably what it's, this, this film is actually packaged in this way, going to say to you. However, it wasn't always the case because it's actually, this is actually a retelling of Beauty and the Beast and it was originally called that. But I think it's been um, packaged up to really look more like a sort of straight up fantasy film and the, and the cover does look especially like a Lord of the Rings film. So, yes, it is actually a Beauty and the Beast retelling. Uh, this time set in a kind of um, Dark Ages Viking sort of setting. Um, now, it doesn't don't necessarily let that put you off, but it does have uh, you know, some of the trappings of a sort of fantasy sort of medieval film what have you uh, but it is rel re relatively sort of straight retelling of the, of the sort of beauty and beast how which i probably don't need to go in, into too much detail with you suffice to say that obviously um you've got a a, a kind of a viking village basically and there uh there's there's tales of uh this kind of this beast that's in this sort of like island sort of some ways away and uh you know they it, whoever goes onto this island pretty much never never returns and this sort of the king who's sort of who's at ill health feels like he sort of wants to take um take the island back and he's got his his uh his sort of uh young daughter called freya played by jane marsh who's the who's the sort of ultimately the princess and um we see a, see a prologue of uh of her sort of playing with her friends and there's a kind of a a, a romance with with some guy but he's kind of uh don't really get too much into that um but there's also she's got another suitor who is this uh sort of their mugs ultimately the, their sort of best warrior called sven and he kind of wants to get in there with uh with freya basically you know we don't know because he actually likes her or just because he wants to become the next king ultimately i think i suspect it's the latter and you know he's a good looking lad and everything and um and he's sort of popular amongst everyone, but she doesn't really have the you know the, the feelings for him and whatnot. Anyway, so they, they go to this island and suffice to say the there's it's all sort of like looks very sort of um you know, horrific. There's lots of like skulls and bodies and stuff everywhere. And then they're they're, they're kind of like attacked by a, a kind of huge guy in sort of um in a sort of a, a monstrous form, which I'll come on to and again in just a second. Uh, the the kind of pretty much a, it, it, a lot of the people are killed, um, and the uh, the Freya's father, the king, is, is sort of captured. Um, although they although they don't know that for sure, they they assume he's been killed. But Sven and a small group of others managed managed to escape and then go back to, and sort of say, oh, you know, the the the, um, the, 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 the king's been killed. Therefore, you know, I'm betrothed to uh, Freya, so I'm going to be the next king. However, he hasn't killed. He hasn't killed the king. He's sort of just sort of keeping him prisoner. Um, now, basically, the one of the one of the other sort of survivors of the initial attack suspects that the king is still alive and tells Freya, who who decides to go and try and rescue him himself with the help of um, her sort of female friend called Ingrid. And suffice to say, they go there and actually he is still alive and kind of managed to rescue him. But in the sort of uh, in the in this sort of clash with the beasts, uh, she ultimately has to sort of face off of him and it agrees to sort of stay behind. He doesn't realise it's a woman first of all because she's wearing sort of armour and uh, thinks it's like a boy or a sort of very young you know young man trying to fight him. And uh, she agree she agrees basically to one on one combat if if she lets her father and this sort of, this sort of other girl go, which she agrees to. But they sort of cheat. So in the end, she ends up staying, and Ingrid and the and the father go go back home, and of course, there he sort of starts to recognise that obviously that is that this, this the beast is actually the same guy that she had this sort of uh, um, attraction to earlier on in life. She doesn't know who it is first of all, but gradually as the sort of the the sort of the second half of this film progresses, obviously the the, the connection sort of builds and whatnot. Suffice to say, the, the end, towards the end of the film, the rest of the sort of Viking parties come back and try to rescue Freya, who at this point is pretty much um, still doesn't really know that it's 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 it's, it's her sort of ex lover or whatever, but she knows that you know they they have a bond and they're kind of having they they become quite close, 
and they they, they sort of attack him and think they've killed him. However, uh, they t take Freya back, but however, this guy is is kind of a basically almost like a werewolf ultimately, and he, he heals of a night and and uh, you know heals back, and then uh, they have their sort of final confrontation where true love, of course, makes them um, him revert back to his sort of human esque form, I guess, or human form. So that's the plot, obviously. Pretty much Beauty and the Beast. Um, so let's have a look at the, the, the sort of meat and bones of it. So this is a relatively low budget film, and I always say, but I will say it again just in case you haven't watched one of these reviews, I can't really judge a low budget film and critique it too much on the, on its on its shortcomings in, in the budgetary department because I, I, I don't think that's fair. You have to base a film, in my opinion, on what it can do with the money that it's got. So, what can it do? So I think uh, it's a bit of a mixed bag, to be honest with you, this one. I have to say, I think some of the, uh, the sets look really good. They have the, sort of the, you know, the, the Viking uh, long boats and stuff like that, and the, what they built, and that looks very good. And I actually think, I've seen some criticism about the sort of sets, but I actually think the sets look pretty decent, actually, to be honest with you, for, for the budget. Um, the, sort of the Beast's Island, I think, looks quite menacing. There's all sort of like lots of... Uh, you know, skulls and bodies hanging up everywhere and everything like that. There's really only, to be fair, there's really only sort of two sets: the the island and the and the village. But I think they do a decent enough job. Um, now, one thing that, that they fail miserably on, however, is props, and most notably, it's the hair department. And that might sound like a weird thing to say, um, but they've gone through all this show of building these sort of long boats and stuff like that and I think Freya's armour looks pretty decent but my god the wigs on these people look ridiculous uh, and, and or either wigs or sort of hair extensions but it looks so fake it's unbelievable so you know it's such a I can't believe no one is when they were filming that I said hang on a second their hair looks really shit um but there you go so you might think I'm nitpicking but if you see this film you'll know exactly what I mean the acting as well, I've got to be honest with you, isn't fantastic. Uh, there's, it is a bit ropey sometimes. I don't think Jane March is the best actress ever. I'll be quite honest with you. She tends to have a kind of robotic performance, I, I think. And I know I've never been a, a huge fan of hers to begin with. I don't think it's specifically just this film. Um, I, I didn't really... The, 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 the scenes where they have this kind of romance building with um, her and the Beast... I just didn't get the feeling that they, they were bonding to me. It, it just didn't seem like they were, uh, certainly from her point of view, I, I just wasn't getting it. I just wasn't feeling it with them. So, and I think a lot of that is down to to her performance, but also some of the sort of, the sort of these, the, the supporting cast as well are, are, aren't particularly good. Now, the actual Beast himself, now he's a trick because I think this is going to divide a lot of people. I actually quite liked him. So... He's basically the what they've done is is they've they've scaled back on the sort of the magical side of stuff, and we don't really see see how he's sort of turned into this beast. All we know he's gone to this island, you know, some time ago to sort of for some reason or another, um, and we're told through basically him monologuing that he he basically fought one of Odin's beasts, slain slain the beast. Which I'm assuming is some sort of wolf monster because this is what he's wearing, and because he slayed the beast, he basically had to take um, take his place and wear the beast's skin. But in doing so, he's kind of becoming the beast. So the beast's got this, um, you know, he's quite a big guy and he's wearing this kind of what looks like a sort of a bear slash wolf costume. Um, now I'm guessing it's meant to be a wolf because he's kind of howling. But it looks more like a bear to me. There you go. And he's he's kind of got this um, quite a good sort of headpiece to be fair. It's like this the, the wolf's head and stuff, and his sort of jaw sort of frames his face, and he's wearing contacts and like big teeth. Um, and he's got this kind of very un unconvincing sort of uh, rubber wolf hands and wolf feet and stuff. Um, and what it's supposed to be is he's basically uh, he's, he's actually attached to the, his costume. So. Um, it's not something he can take off and you kind of see in some shots like that where it's kind of going into his skin so basically he's he's basically encased in this almost like i don't know maybe sentient costume and it kind of controls him and makes him more bestial and we're told 
during the night, especially during full moons, that he, he sort of loses a bit more control and uh, and basically the beast takes takes over. And the longer he's been on the time, the more sort of bestial he, he sort of become. Uh, and when in, in one quite amusing scene, he sort of he locks Freya in, well, he asks Freya to lock herself in this this, this sort of cage during the night because he can't control himself. However, he's actually telling her this in the night. So, you know, there you go. Let mine a little nitpick there. So, like I say, the I think the the beast will 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 kind of split people. So I actually quite liked it. I actually thought it was quite um, quite good. I think he looked quite good. And not beast you as in he he looks completely like a monster, but he he does it like a man, but with more sort of um sort of feral features. And I I actually thought that was quite I quite like that personally. But I, I, I understand what I always watch a couple of reviews before uh, I do with my own review skill. Other people think, and a lot of people don't like, and they think it looks like a Halloween costume, but I actually think it looks quite good. So there you go. Uh, anyway, and the, the action that is in it, I think, is okay as well. There's a couple of reasonably well choreographed fight scenes. So I don't think it's all that bad, to be honest with you. I mean, it's, it's nothing great at, at the same time. So, you know, I'm going to give this one probably a bang uh, 5 out of 10. So it's pretty much an average sci-fi movie. Now, if you are your sort of your romantic type, you may get a kick out of it because obviously you know, it does have quite a lot of romantic overtones, but it's not, it isn't the best, Not certainly not the well, the best acted film, um, but it does have, its, I guess it does have a few plus points. So 5 out of 10 for me. Let me know what you think. Leave me a comment. I look forward to seeing you next time. Bye for now.